Okay, so today I'm actually just going to try something. I'm just going to put an empty box right here. So that then as I take stuff out of hive, I can either put the frames in there or like my feeder on top of that. Just so I don't squish as many bees. So, uh, you know, we've got something to do with that. So I'm going to start with this hive over here. So I'm just going to put a little bit of smoke in the entrance. Lift up the top a little. Spray a little smoke in there. Sir, but they're pretty close, so it's like they build up a little bit of comb right here. So it looks like they've drank most of the food, which probably took them. Probably two, two, two gallons each in each hive, so two gallons a week. I don't know if that's normal or not. That's why I wanted that empty box so I can just set that on there. That's one disadvantage to having a top bar feeder is, you know, if it's full of food, it's kind of hard to move stuff around. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the frames. I'll start from the outside one and work my way in. Uh, see if I can see the queen, see if I can see any eggs. So this is the outside frame. As you can see, they've drawn it out pretty good. Um, which I'm surprised. That's the outside frame that they've drawn it out that well so far. So these guys are working. I'm looking for the queen, but I can't see her, but if you look in the bottom of those combs and those cells, I can actually see little tiny eggs. So that's a, that's a good sign and at least lets me know that the queen is working. And really because I've seen that, I don't really need to find the queen. Uh, but if I see her, it's just kind of an added, added bonus. So this is the middle frame. Which I would assume this would be the busiest because there's more. It seemed like that's where all the bees were the last time I looked. Um, so as you can see, they've drawn it out pretty good. They're starting to cap some of it. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be honey. That's what it looks like to me. And then it looks like. Um, I'm trying to see if I see any eggs. This one. This one I actually don't see any eggs in this frame, but I did see them in the other one, so. We'll just uh, keep looking. Okay, now this frame, to me looks like the, that capped up here in the corner is honey, and then that stuff in the middle, to me looks like capped brood. 
which is basically just uh, their eggs. They cap them and then, um, then they hatch after, uh, I think it's a couple of days, maybe a week. So to me that in that middle part looks like all capped brood, so. I don't know if you can see this or not, but down inside some of those cells you can actually see larvae, which means the eggs have um, hatched and then they've just got to put a thin layer of wax over them and then they just let them be until they completely grow and then they just kind of eat their way out of the wax. I don't know if you can see this, but there's the queen right there. So she's kind of bigger. She's got like a really long abdomen. So found the queen. Uh, she's laying eggs. There's brood. Looks like some capped honey. So everything looks good for now. Uh, I'll just actually go ahead and put this one back and then uh, I'll have to fill up the feeder later because I don't have any food. So I'll have to do that tomorrow.